Okay, so I'm now doing the sweet potato slips. And all I'm doing, I've got about a, what, I'd say that's about a five inch pot maybe, five, possibly six inch pot. And just to try and grow them on, just to see how they do, I'm just simply going to get me small dibber, me small dibber, poke a hole in, to about there, pop them in. Nope, I need a bigger hole. The roots are bigger on that one. Pop them in or about there. Firm it down it gently. And basically, I'm just going to do that for them for you and just see how they grow on. Um, like I say, sweet potatoes are an experiment. They normally like to grow in uh, very warm climates, which we don't have. Um, but let's see what happens. Um, I'm maybe going to go try and grow them like the potatoes in a jelly bucket, but in the greenhouse, just to see. Right. I'll carry on and then we'll come and have a look when I'm done. Right, so that's all the job's done for today. Um, some flowers are potted on, the black currants now in a pot. Um, I've got the spinach beet and the little gem lettuce in their pots as well. They just need hardened off now. Everything basically on this table just needs hardened off. Um, what we've got there, cucumbers are potted on. So the peppers, um, all that's tomatoes and marigolds now and a few peppers at the back. Um, a few extra sunflowers I had there. Um, I've separated the kale up. Um, I haven't done the sprouts or the rest of the um, cabbage yet, but they're not quite ready. I'll wait until they've got the proper leaves. Um, peas need hardened off. Um, I still need to thin out the leeks, but I'm not overly concerned about that. And down here's just a few spare bits, which will go to friends. Um, the Chilies have finally decided to show themselves and see what happens with them. Um, got a few more peppers there and the um, sweet potatoes. So, um, and that's it for the minute. We'll see you next time. Right, 4th of May. I'm just getting a few more jobs done. Um, planting out some of the turnips now. Um, the weather's been crap and they've been hit by frost I think that's why they don't look like they're doing too good so I'm just going to get them out and just leave it and see what happens now um, but that's basically the space and, and in this other half of the bed is going to be the moulai but that that's not getting planted yet and this half of the bed needs to sit first so we'll get on and do that we'll come back and have a look right so that's the last of the um, turnips just going in there now and just to show you all I've done is dug a hole about the size of the pot they're in put a bit of uh, bone meal in the bottom and all I'm doing is just plonking it in which is very difficult one handed and firm it down a bit not too much there we go so that's all of those in that's that on to the next job Right, so that's Hubby's half of the compost, uh, the carrot box done with his compost. Um, he's done slightly different to mine, um, whereas I've got verve, homemade and clover, two rows of each. He's done the same, but all mine have blood fish and bone in. His has alternate um, calcified seaweed in it. So that's just clover, this row here. That's clover with calcified seaweed, that's verve, that's verve with calcified seaweed and homemade stuff and then homemade stuff with calcified seaweed. So you can see the calcified seaweed there and not there and so on. Just to see what happens on his side, the only thing we need to do is make these little um, plastic rims for the top and plant the carrots, which we're going to do this week. Right, so we're just preparing the area where the daddies are going to spend the summer. Um, so we've brought them down from up there. 
and all we're doing is we've just loosened the soil off we've moved some to the side we're going to stand the titties around here and then cover the holes up see the holes cover the holes up see them. cover the holes so that the roots can grow out and you get more and healthier your potatoes so that's what we're going to do and I'm going to chuck into the mix a bit of grow more and some biochar got left over from last year there's not much there is a bit so I'll chuck that into the mix as well right so that's the titties done so they're just set in place and earthed up at the bottom so that any roots that come out can go down and get extra nutrients we'll put biochar chicken manure pellets and grow more on the bottom so there's nutrients when the roots come out as well so that's them in place now it's another job done okay so it's now the third of may and i'm just checking on the sweet potatoes and i've actually just pulled a few slips off since january i've, ha I've had these sweet potatoes in water um, trying to get some slips off them and four months later and just got some there um mainly did this as an experiment to see if up here in the northeast of england you could grow sweet potatoes um or at least get the slips and so far it's took four months to get them to this stage here um and there's still a few slips on there but they're not ready yet what i might do is because i've just seen on youtube that you pull the slips off and put them in water so i might pull a few more off that have that haven't got roots and put them in water and these few that have got roots i might take out and plant now in a small pot to see how they come on um i just wanted to show you that quickly and we'll see what happens this year like i said this is more of an experiment more than anything else if i get even half of a result this year I'll start them off earlier next time. So say like this year I'll start them off in November in the water. So the, the slips are progressed further by the time it gets to this point. But let's see what happens this year. Okay, so some more jobs for the 3rd of May. Um, some general housework in the greenhouse because it's a mess and needs tidied up. Um, black current which just got from B&Q for an absolute steal, 50 pence. Um, I'm going to pot that on. I've just had it sitting in some water for now. Um, I'm going to pot them on. Pot them in pots, I should say. The slips off the sweet potato. Um, those are going to get potted on properly. Um, so there's the lettuce and the spinach beet and the kale and the peppers. And then um, I'll get all that done and we'll come back and have a look. There's not really much else to do because outside it's horrible and raining and I'm not going outside in that.